Do you love television? Here we are. Here we are. Get your fix with exclusive behind the scenes access to some of your favorite TV shows like you have never seen them before. Exclusive access you're not going to see anywhere else. We get to sort of show you what goes on behind the scenes of your favorite shows. On today's show, we feel right at home with the stars of ABC Family's Melissa and Joey. We head to the set of NCIS Los Angeles to interrogate the talented cast. We visit the fine folks of Pawnee on set of Parks and Recreation and weave it on our best werewolf faces for the stars of MTV's Teen Wolf. From our TV obsession to the comfort of your couch, this is Shh, Quiet on the Set. Melissa and Joey. Melissa and Joey. What a lovely couple. Did you are. have a crush on Joey Lawrence when you were growing up? I did, and I had a crush on Melissa. I just went on set with them. When you meet A-listers that have been in the business for a long time, there's a reason they're still there. Some of the nicest people you'll, you'll yeah. ever meet. They've gotten past the whole home famous thing, and right. they're just, you know, they're over it, right. and they're just it's at a good place. It's their job. It's yeah. work. It's work. Yeah. Joey Lawrence behind the scenes, he tells it like it is. Like, he, he does not pull any right. punches. We headed to CBS Studios for an exclusive tour of the set of Melissa and Joey from the stars themselves, Melissa Joan Hart and Joey Lawrence. Hey, I'm Melissa Joan Hart. We are here on the backstage tour of Melissa and Joey. This is where we do our hair and makeup. This is where we get all lovely and pretty. And um, it's a stop between my dressing room and the stage. But if you want, I'll take you on the stage and we can uh, take a look around. I'm Joey. <laughs> Here's Joey. I'm Joey. <laughs> He's doing How's it push going? How's it going? I'm gonna yeah go do some push-ups or something. This is like the this is where the deals happen. This is where all the stuff goes down, man. All the creative process. And actually, the writers are upstairs. Okay. All the production. You lock them away. Editor, we lock them away. And yeah. They just do you write feed funny them? stuff. Do you well, throw every now food and then. Okay. Yeah, we, we, it's kind of like a jail. We just open it up and then throw some slop in, and then they just keep writing. The Melissa and Joey set is a maze of secret entrances and pathways that make every shoot day feel like an adventure. This is my kids' favorite part. So. There's all these secret doors back here to actually get because the set is all facing one direction. Oh, secret doors. So if you come this way. This is how you make your stage entrance. You'll be on set. So here we are in the kitchen. This is where we, when we're, when we're pretending to be in my room, I hide out in this little corner. <laughs> this is actually what you're saying. And we write notes to each other and we leave food back here. And it's just, I mean, that's little... it. This is, this is where I'm hiding the whole time like the show's going. And then I'm like, hey, Joe. But we didn't just get to see the set. We also got to see where the magic happens before and after production. This is our production office. This is everybody that sort of makes it makes it happen in Hi, here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is like the engine room. You know how like the engine doesn't yes. get a lot of credit because you look at the wheels, you, you look at the tint and the paint, but this is, if you didn't have the engine, man, that car wouldn't go anywhere. And this right? is definitely the engine room. So you guys rock. <laughs> They're all like, it's true. This keeps us running, too. So this is how you know what we've done for the day. So like, these are the scenes we still have to rehearse today, and then these are the scenes we have to shoot today. So I still got to shoot these two scenes today. Actually, we're missing a few. Oh, there's more over there. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were getting off easy. More. And I'm still, like, wait, I think there's some missing. These are all of our editing bays. I don't know if they're open. Let me see. See? He's hard at work right now. Pressed in, putting scenes together and shows together as see, the, we speak. The editors are the people that see you. They see you from every angle. Every they angle, see every take. Good and bad. They know you. They know they us. Know you. you know, honestly, <laughs> editors can make or break anything. You really feel like you're in somebody's house. Like the fridge works. And then right next to the kitchen, they have like the chalkboard. And every week they write something different. And they said fans actually notice it and will write them in. Because sometimes it's like a little coded thing. They'll try right. to figure out what it means. That's great. Everything's personal. And Melissa has pictures of her actual family on the walls. All right, so this is the set of the living room. I'll show you a little. Um, so there's some. there are some family photos. Like here's, and this is me in <laughs> Tahoe like two years ago in my favorite. This is my 4th of July dress. I wear this every year. Do so you'll really? see me on Instagram oh gosh, wearing this. Oh, hilarious. It's 4th of July. And then over here, it's my grandparents. I believe oh this my was gosh. their first date at like no. an Oktoberfest. It's nice that I, especially when I'm waiting to walk into the kitchen for a kitchen scene, I can just stand here and stare at them. This board is always done by our friend Justine here who does set decorating. She writes something that has to do with the episode and you never really catch it unless you really pay attention. So this is the one thing I would take if I, when we when we wrap, I don't know why, but I love this little sign. That's it just cool. hangs outside our door. And you probably spend a lot of time here spend too. A lot, just... Spend a lot of time. This is where we come in for our intros on Thursday night and come out for our, out for our curtain call. And then the one thing Joey wants to keep, this is like a nutcracker. And so every week he has a different, the director gets to choose what fruit they want or vegetable or whatever. And so this week, I guess it's a lime. It's a lime. If you're the star of a major television show, you gotta sport the most stylish threads. And Melissa led us into her character's designer closet. And then this is where our lovely wardrobe ladies are. Hey guys, 
Pinch your cheeks. Lick your lips. This is wardrobe. This is wardrobe. This is where this I would spend a lot of my time. So this board <laughs> shows you what we all, okay. all the outfits we tried on and how they lined them up for the week and what we will be wearing. Is there a lot of sort of back and forth and this is what I want to wear? And... Um, A little bit. We yeah. just do fittings and if we don't like something, we don't try it on really. Or if we put it on and everyone agrees it doesn't look good, we just toss it out. These dresses we're trying on this week, right? So they're all my favorite designers, right? They'll all be like oh, yeah, I see Karen Millen yeah. or they'll be Kate Spade or, uh, oh, that's Jessica Simpson. That's a new... But, uh, you know, it's like we always have Elizabeth and James. We always have Bailey 44. You know, there's certain styles Remember, we always get. This is, I think Alice this is and Olivia. BCBG. Yep. Our yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this was great. Thank you Thank so much you. for bringing Thanks us for around coming. the set. Sure. Are you rooting for you and, and Joe to stay together, your characters to stay together? Yes, because I don't want to have to kiss a bunch of strangers again. <laughs> What fun they were. When I interviewed them on the sofa, I was just so blown away. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Can I just say that was one of my favorite interviews of all time? Uh, when you... The one that you did with Oh, them. really? Yeah. Thank you. I loved it. Oh. Wow, I feel like I should leave the room. <laughs> no, little, come on. You like his shoes, you like his It's a bromance, relax, it's a bromance. It's fine. It's this is happening, okay. go with it. It's, okay. Okay. it's <laughs> Hollywood. Anything works. It's anything works in Hollywood, that's it, man. You guys can snog if you want, I'll leave Whoa, 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 whoa. What the, what the... <laughs> What is it, Matt Snuff? Just what? weird. That is so weird. Just weird. How are you comfortable? You've got a lot of internal stuff going on that you <laughs> should talk about. I do. <laughs> I like that they've stuck around. Yeah. It's from child actors. Well, Joey, we know from Blossom, and Mayim Bialik, who's mm -hmm. his co-star mm -hmm. on that, she's on Big, Big Bang. Bang I mean, they're both still working and doing yeah. really, really well, so. And then Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. Who's your favorite child star that's yeah. grown up in the business? Hashtag, quiet on the set, let us know your favorite child star. And we also want to know what your favorite TV house is. What house or apartment or fat pad would you like to most live in? So tweet us with the hashtag quiet on the set. Coming up, we get an extra dose of cool from LL Cool J and the cast of NCIS Los Angeles. I've, I've tried to learn how to beatbox and I got. You, you want to learn how to beatbox? Yeah. Let me see you do it. <laughs> you know you could do better than that. Do it for real. <laughs> I'm seriously mm -hmm. that expensive. Plus, see what makes the stars of MTV's Teen Wolf howl. If you could meet Jennifer, Aniston, or the Red Hot Chili Peppers, who would you choose? Um, I gotta go Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yes, yeah, I have to. I mean, duh. <laughs>can't believe I got to perform again. He was one of the originators right. of the person that could cross over. He From could do the everything. music into acting. Yeah. And he's lasted. Yeah. And the show lasted. It's won five Teen Choice Awards, which Incredible. is a massive. We sat down with LL Cool J, and it's no surprise the interview quickly turned musical. I've tried to learn how to beatbox, and I got. You want to learn how to beatbox? Yeah. Let me see you do it. You know you can do better than that. Do it for real. <laughs> I'm seriously that is just 
smooth to it. I'm better at that than. Yeah. Was that a little Michael Jackson? A little bit. That little was bit. that was little great. Bit. That was fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty good. The NCIS franchise has featured some memorable crossovers, but LL Cool J revealed to us the one he's still hoping for. What would be your ultimate crossover? Either you could do like a musical version of the episode of the show, or a movie, or a TV yeah, show. We definitely don't want to, you know, you know, <laughs> get on the ground, federal agents. <laughs> Nobody move! <laughs> bang, bang! You can bring it to Broadway. I can see it. I'm buying I'm it. I'm running down the block. I'm chasing you. Bang, bang! Like, I don't think so. <laughs> I love it. And shoot him now! And that I just, would be hilarious. It was absolutely yeah, hysterical. It would be the, the, like the adult's glee. I mean, I could have just retired after that. You should have. LL's co-stars had some of their own ideas for crossovers as well. What would be your dream collaboration? Any movie, any dream band? You could choose a band. You could make I mean, a musical. I mean, do we get to bring the Dukes of Hazard back? There you, you go. Can we get out in the General Lee instead of our Which uh, one would you be? Bo or Luke? Yeah. Are you a Bo or are you a Luke? I guess I was more of a Luke. As <laughs> wait, a... which one oh, was wait, he? Oh, wait, no, it was Bo. It was more of the blonde one, I think, when I was a kid, so I had blonde hair. <laughs> so you'd be, you'd be for the Broadway crossover? I'd be for the Broadway kind of glee, kind of smash crossover. Smash up, smash up? Smash up, mash up, yeah. glee up, NCIS LA up. I was going to say Titanic, but that's a little mean. Titanic. <laughs> Which, what? Oh, my oh, gosh. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. That would be a great crossover. I would love... Do you like to, a little Spongebob? To, yeah, I really actually do. No, I don't know, maybe we'll do the Big Bang Theory or something, something I real love silly. the Big Bang Theory. You know, maybe maybe they'll be, they'll show up in the bullpen while we're, you know, and we're investigating a case and we hire these nerds to help us solve some of the, you know, technical aspects of it and they show up in the bullpen. Chris O'Donnell demonstrates for us how having a megastar like LL Cool J on set can be somewhat distracting. Yo, yo, yo! I was gonna ask for an impersonation. Yo, yo, yo! Wait, can I can I be can I be him for a second? Oh, you're gonna go. I, well, first of all, he wouldn't wear that color. Well, I'm the girl lost, version of LL. <laughs> can 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 I be LL and you can be a fan? Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Is that really how it goes? Oh, they go crazy. Like we've had women that literally are hyperventilating when they see him, and you're like, all right, whatever. And he's kind of give the wave, but then they'll occasionally you'll get someone that you have to stop production because she's going to have a complete panic attack if we don't really? bring her to LL. When you're in the presence of a major legend like LL Cool J, you got to look the part. I have something for this interview, and it's only for you. What's that? I'm going to wear this. Oh, man, I would have worn mine. Will you wear this? No, you no, won't no wear not, pink. not that color. That <laughs> he actually, before we started rolling, wasn't wearing his beanie, and he says, wait, I'm going to go get my beanie, because I pulled it out. I surprised him. Right. Maybe I should go get it. Go yeah, get your yeah, beanie. Yeah, 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 let me get my beanie. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute that he went and did that. And yeah. then he said, like, let's do it all over again. He could have just been, ah, ha, ha, she's wearing a right. beanie. The fact that he said, no, I'm going to take the time to go to my dressing room and get the beanie, just shows you he just still loves what he does. That's the key to success. If someone ever pulls out a beanie, go and get a beanie and join me. <laughs> One of the show's hottest twosomes were game to show us their own dance routine to JT's suit and tie. Let me show you a few things. Let me show you a few things. So if Renee and Barrett can do it, you guys can do it. We want you to send us your dancing vids, whether you're by yourself, with a group, your whole flash mob thing. So tweet us with the hashtag quiet on the set and break out your moves. Up next, the faithful employees of Pawnee Park's apartment let their hair down. Here's what's great about being on a film set as an actor. I can do whatever the F I want. Parks and recreation. Yes. Parks and Recreation. Hilarious, 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 hilarious segment. Did you know that it was actually intended to be a direct spin-off of The Office? Was it really? Yes. Yep. And then it was, I guess, going so well, so they just kept it. We paid a visit to the Pawnee Parks Department to sit down with the cast of Parks and Recreation for one of the funniest and most memorable set visits ever. You've gotten a job for a long time. It's amazing. It's, it's really nice to be able to say, yeah, guys, I can't drink. I can't go out and drink tonight because uh, I have to work tomorrow. 
I mean, any chance you get to work on a show like this with so many great people you get along with and such a great staff, writers and producers and everything, it, it's such a treat, and, and I'm just really glad we've been able to keep going for five seasons. It's very exciting. We always feel super lucky when we get to come back and make more shows. Um, it's the funnest job anyone's ever had. Chris Pratt showed us one perk of being the star of a major network series. Here's what's great about being on a film set as an actor. I can do whatever the F I want. Chris Pratt? Would not shut up. <laughs> no, his rant about all the guest stars that have been on the show who really haven't been on the show. You guys have had epic guest stars. Yeah, we've had them all. We've had them all. I and mean, we've had Sidney Poitier. We've had uh, Tom Cruise. We had Tom Selleck. We had Tom Green. We had Al Green. Meanwhile, Aziz Ansari and Ben Schwartz tease some details of their characters' relationship. Now, talk about where we see you guys in this season. Um, we, you start on us naked in bed, and it's a big wide nice. shot. No, no, no. Sure. Nope. No, no, not that. You sure? No, that's not what happens. Actually, I heard it wasn't a wide shot. We had Jim Morrison. We had Matthew Morrison. Uh, <laughs> we had Matthew Modine. We had Matthew McConaughey. We had Sarah... Evans, the country singer, Chris Evans, the guy who played Captain America, uh, Christopher Reeve, uh, before he passed. It's no surprise that the stars have some pretty strange fan encounters. I mean, people usually um, offer me meat. A lot of Indian men come up to me. I can't go to bars anymore because people come up to me with like huge glasses of scotch <laughs> and expect me to pound it <laughs> and then like fight them. Have you ever? <laughs> I've not, um, since that first gentleman. And Chris Pratt was still on a roll. Chris <laughs> Cooper, we had Alice Cooper. We had uh, Al Swearingen, Ian McShane, <laughs> uh, Shane West, um, everyone from the West Wing. We've had a lot. The cast of Wings. The cast of, no, they haven't been on our show. <laughs> Ben and Aziz introduced us to a little something called interview ping pong. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Yep. So this is what we call interview ping pong. Yep. 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 Ah, you want. Yep. 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 Ah, good match though. They were kind of interviewing each other. At, at they some were. They point. grabbed. They took control of the mic. They, they made it their own. They I did. think I heard a rumor that Aziz is after a job at Young Hollywood, and that's why he done it. Really, Ben Schwartz was in here. Maybe he was scoping the situation. We need to be worried. We do. They're after our jobs. Coming up, the Teen Wolf cast reveals their own teen moments. I farted in front of my girlfriends, in front of one of my girlfriends by accident <laughs> one time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she How heard it. How did it happen? I was lying on the ground and like, <laughs> like this, my legs were up. You know what we should talk about? Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Ooh. Is that your best how? I can do a monkey. What we've yeah, done this that is before. Team that this is work. Team Wolf. Which you went they on the set of. I love going on the set with these guys. I love interviewing these guys. They're a good bunch. They're a fun They're bunch. They're such a fun bunch. Yeah. You've interviewed them. I had them on the sofa, all of them. You at had once. them all at, all at once. I'm sure a lot of fans would like that too. That was a lot to deal with. A lot of personalities in that group. A lot of personalities yeah. in that group. And it's such a dramatic show, but they're right. so freaking funny. Ooh. We've entered into the Wolf's Lair to get exclusive one on ones with the cast of Teen Wolf in their natural habitat. We're here mooning with Tyler Posey. Tyler, stop mooning. Sorry. Gosh, but hey, we're in a classroom. Yeah. All right, let's have a stare off. Oh, wow. I'm gonna see, see if you can get me to break. Oh, what do you mean, like laugh? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, my God. What do I, I don't know. I'm not that spontaneous, you know? Just like, ah! We said we weren't gonna scream before we started. Sorry. Sorry. Now you've gotten me in trouble. Terribly sorry. See? Even the hottest stars on TV have their awkward years, which we found out firsthand. So we have a game for you. It's called Teen Moments. Good. It's called Teen Moments, and it's sort of about your teen life. Oh, God. We're going to talk about your teen life. Oh, my God. I'm still, like, recovering from my teen life. Well, you're not far off. Exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> Most awkward teen moment. Ooh. Uh, I got pants at my own birthday party uh, in front of a jacuzzi full of people from my best friend. You got what? Pants. What's that? You don't know pants? <laughs> no. Let me explain this because it's not embarrassing What's enough. What's humiliate you even more? I was in a pool with a swimsuit. My best friend came up from behind me and made me no longer be wearing a swimsuit. 
Wow. Yeah. And how was the response? I, I pulled the shorts back up and then dove in the pool so quickly to beat the crap out of him that I don't remember what the response was. I didn't see it first. Maybe there was a round of applause. You never know. <sighs> I farted in front of my girlfriend's, in front of one of my girlfriends by accident <laughs> one time. Uh, I don't know if she How did it, it happen? I was lying on the ground and like, <laughs> like this, my legs were up and like, it was just a bunch of us. Like we were hanging out like teenagers and, and like I was sitting up and I farted a little bit and like I sat like all the way up and looked around and I don't think anyone noticed or they didn't they say anything. They pretended they didn't notice. She fully told all her I think, friends. I think so, I think so. I think that's why we broke that. up actually. We got the stars to open up about their fellow Hollywood celebs that make their werewolf hearts pound. Teen celeb crush. Does, does that mean they have to be a teenager still? Because that's kind of creepy, right? Oh, Kira Knightley. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> um, Selena Gomez is pretty cute. Jennifer Aniston, like crazy. Emma Watson. Have no, you met her? No, uh, I did. I did meet her one time, yeah. Did you tell her you had a crush on her? I don't think so. You I think should. I was a little flustered. And the one song that makes you think of your teen years. Can't Stop by Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you could meet Jennifer Aniston or the Red Hot Chili Peppers, who would you choose? Um, I gotta go Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, duh. Speaking of Tyler Posey, show me your best werewolf face, because he taught me how to do the werewolf face. I am the ugliest werewolf that has ever existed. I will never get well, cast on Team Wolf. Just to, just to, I've, I've been in the makeup trailer on, at Team Wolf when they're having this done, and it's a big process. It's now, the underbite. Let me see your... I don't know what I just look like. <laughs> I've never tried it before, but let me know. You weren't bad, actually. Yeah. Actually, the last time I talked to you in our studio, you taught me how to do a werewolf face. It's just like, ah. I am the most unattractive werewolf oh that my God. ever. Don't say that. I'm intimidating. Ah. Head down more, you gotta put your head down more. Ah. Can I see you again? I do, yeah. No, not at all. You, that's completely not true at all. Your argument is invalid. You should hashtag quiet on the set and send us your werewolf face. Send us a picture. Yes. Think underwrite. Look at Nikki's and do better. Not setting the bar too high. It won't take much. Young Hollywood.